Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Jason Statham in Address. So last time we shoved our hand up a pig's ass, pulled out a ribbon, and apparently it belongs to the little girl, so we know she's dead. And then we murdered the old beggar dude who turned into a Satan, basically. H he killed us, we killed him. And he also killed one of our NPCs. Luckily not our whore though, because that would have really pissed me off. Then we found a mysterious door down at the bottom of the Healing Church Workshop. Which led us to the abandoned church workshop, which looked exactly like Hunter's Dream. But with nobody and not really anything there, except some very interesting items. Like the, uh, the doll's dress, which I'm wearing right now. Then we let a sack body kill us, which took us here. Kidnapped us, and this place called like... Some, I can't remember the damn name, son of a bitch. But yeah, it's a very spooky place, and seems to be gigantic thus far. And the music is kind of creeping me the hell out. Okay, sack buddy is dead, and... Okay, we can't keep going down here. I really thought this was going to be a dead end. It's bloody ginormous, man. Good God. Okay. Rule one. I see booty. I don't see enemies. So there's an ambush. No ambush? I don't trust you. Two? Lots of booty and no ambush? <laughs> I thought something was going to drop on me. Okay, I guess not. And we have a door. Where's the door lead? Uh, oh, okay, I remember this door from earlier. I think this is where we got attacked by the two chicks who look like the witches of Hemwick. And then we beat up the dudes on the ground. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Kind of a pointless shortcut, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's good. I don't plan on dying. I'm sure it's going to happen, but... Yeah, if you don't die, it seems like... Well, well, then again, I guess it's kind of a good general rule. If you don't die, shortcut's not that handy. What is up with this statue? I... It looks like a bunch of people praying piled on top of each other with like a weird sheet over their heads. Maybe to signify that praying to the church is bad because the church is evil. That's what it means. See, I'm trying to read between the lines. Is that a ghost of another player? Oh, it is. I, <laughs> that was there for so long and so still I thought it was actually real. Okay, you, uh, you're a crystal lizard, I almost missed you. Why are you taking 20 damage? 30 from the Ludwig's Holy Blade of Doom. What the hell? Why are you so damn tough? Okay, well, the charge deck was decent. Some more twin bloodstone shards. Any other enemies around here? Oh, we can't keep going. Ambush? I am very surprised by no ambushes so far. Something going to drop on me. I trust nothing. Nothing at all. Alright, we have another door. And this one... Ah, okay, leads us to the lamp. I didn't even see this door. That's embarrassing. Speaking of which, is there a door on the other side? Yes, there is. Oh, okay, well, at least we can't open that one yet. So I guess there's probably going to be another shortcut just allows us to double back from the other side. Don't know how we get there, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so I guess we need to go check out what's going on over to the left. There's also a giant staircase down the right we need to check out as well. Let's check over here since, you know, we're here. Makes sense. I... Try to listen out for sounds. I think I hear something. Yeah, I hear something right. It sounds like... It sounds like a pig buddy stamping around. I guess it's down there. Okay, well, uh... Did I go over here? I don't think I did. Oh, no I didn't, there's Booty. I think the Frenzy, Blood, Cold Blood, or whatever they are, I think they're one of the best ones, at least so far. I think the number on the end indicates how powerful they are, basically. I don't really know. I mean, they have different names, but... How the hell are you supposed to know what's what? Okay, anything over here? Like, Hidden Booty around the back, perhaps? No Hidden Booty? Disappointed. Okay, it looks like we can go over there, but it also looks like maybe we can't. Like, mm, no, no, it didn't look quite decorative enough to actually be somewhere we can go. Yeah, I can definitely hear a freaking pig. Okay, well, speaking of pigs, let's get our fr pungent blood cocktail, whatever the hell it's called, ready so we can chuck one and hopefully distract the bastard if we get the chance. There you are, you pig son of a bitch. Okay, let's try chucking it uh, over there, I guess. So I go over there, Mr. Pig. Don't see me. I'm behind a statue. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's roaring. Oh, I think he... Okay. I think he was actually going for the blood, but... Whatever, we got the backstab. And you are... Dead? Okay, he's dead. 
Look back here, it always looks like they have a tiny bit of HP, I can never quite freaking tell. Okay, we got some more blood vials, back to full, and... Don't hear anything over there, but I think I saw something. Oh, we got more bolt paper. Good, I like that. Okay, how many do we have now? We have nine. Okay. Oh, yeah, I saw something, all right. Hello, Doc, how's it going? Damn. Yeah, Roadhouse. Oh, I didn't see you there. Okay, please. Okay, he's dead. Are there more? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, they really match him with the freaking ground, man. Well, I guess, like... The smoke, really. There's one over there as well, and it looks like there's some over there by the, uh, by the door. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, shit. I did not mean to jump back then. What the hell? I don't know how I keep doing that by mistake. Maybe our controller's busted. Oh, huh. that's not a real door. It's an elaborate ruse. Okay. Oh, there's a sack buddy over there as well. Again, I'm blind. I didn't even see that first time. Okay, any booty behind here. What the hell, man? It's like a prime location to hide something. Disappointed, very disappointed. I like my hidden booty, what can I say? Okay, I see two dogs that might be more hand around here, because, you know, a couple of them popped out on me, so you never know. Let's try chucking nets. Really want that to go way further. But, you know, whatever. Did they eat it already? I don't see it. Well, or oh, shit, don't be sucking me in. Do not be sucking me in, sack buddy. I ain't down with that. Come here, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna parry the shit out of you. I did that too early. God, that really hurts. Some sucker punching me. I, I did it again. God damn, oh shit. Okay, you very nearly dead. Heal again. Okay, we're fine. You know what? Screw the parrying. Let's just use the goddamn sword because it staggers them. It's just the intelligent thing to do. Why bother with parrying when you really don't need to? Yes. Backstabs, on the other hand, that's easy. Okay, you are dead. Give me three, four blood vials. You didn't give me any. You suck. Okay, oh, this isn't a door, it's just a wall. Tonitrus. Looks like a morning star? I guess we'll check it out. I think someone we were fighting had a morning star. A unique truck weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. Oh. Okay, so it sounds like it's got, uh... It's got a unique... Oh, it's all zappy. Yeah, okay. That's extremely cool. You may remember we were fighting two hunters. It was, um... Try to think how to describe it. The one where I killed the second one after, like, dodging around the well for a long time through poison knives, and then I got double KO'd. The first one, I believe, had this weapon. And I think it, you know, struck it kind of like that to, uh, make it all zappy. That's very cool. I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks that it doesn't seem to have, like, any transformation, but... If you want, like, you know, a bolt weapon to take out something that's weak to it, probably a really good choice. And since it's a morning star, it's probably got really good scaling and strength. You think I would have checked that, but no. I always forget to check the shits. Okay, well, I checked every single corner. Speaking of corners. Okay, there's nothing there. I checked every corner around here. Can't find any more booty or anything like that, so I guess we need to go down here. Okay, I see a lot of loot around here. And... Two dogs. There are no damn way there's only gonna be two dogs guarding all of this shit. It's gonna be like ten sack buddies running around the corner any second. You just know it. So there's another door there. Maybe that's the other locked door that we found by the lamp. Then again, geographically, I don't think that could possibly be that, but you never know. Madman's knowledge. Okay, that's all we got. And there's some loot over here. How the hell do I get to that? Did that say search booty? I probably said search body. We've got, uh, Yargrel. That's the place we are at. Yargrel. We've got some Yargrel armor. Looks kind of cool. Might look complete shit when I'm wearing it, but, you know. I, di I didn't have much to go on. And... There we go. I kind of like that. We look like, uh... Yeah, it's like a fences mask or something. We're like evil as EO now. Okay, everything around here. Was there really just two dogs? That seems very strange to me, man. Okay, that one actually is a door unlike the other end. Well, anyway, first of all... Let's check... What? It's not a real door? Really? I can wait to... Yeah, I, I know. I can see that. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so there's a fake door and a giant door. So can we open the giant door? No! Is there a lever? I don't see one? 
Well, where the fuck do I go then? That's locked. The other one's fake. I don't think I've missed anything. I guess give me a moment here and I'll bring you back in when I find something. Okay, after much searching around, I think I may have found something. And by that, I mean I actually have found something. So I'm bringing you back in. And we're right above where I killed that pig. You know, I threw the pungent blood cocktail to distract it and I stabbed it in the ass. We're right above that. Never actually went over here. And then here, pretty damn sure I just saw an elevator. Yes, I... Oh, it is an elevator, okay. And... Wait, what? It's not operable? Does that dude have, like, double wheels on his back? And just died? Well, alright then. So... Okay, clearly I'm missing something here, because it's an elevator we haven't used yet. But, uh, apparently not yet. Well, shit. Where do I go? Alright, look. I'm not proud of myself, but you may remember this cave entrance thingy magic- Is that an enemy over there? I think it's breathing. You may remember this weird cave entrance that we found. I was like, oh, I'll come back to that. Completely forgot it existed, so. Yeah, I guess this is where we have to go. That, yeah, that's definitely alive. I just don't know what it is yet. Is it a boss? This is a big open area. You a boss body? You're totally freaking out, aren't you? You are giant, yeah. Dark Beast Paul. Oh. I'm terrified. What's the... Oh, shit, what's he doing? Jesus! Okay, explodes. Dark Souls 2 style. Gangnam style. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Okay, what the hell are you doing? It fell down. Uh... What? I'm confused. Usually when something falls down, it doesn't fall down quite into a crumpled pile like that, so you can crit it in the head or something. I mean, maybe we still can. Oh, it's an exploding thing! Oh, shit! You didn't explode. Oh, you're just flailing around. This thing looks very cool. I like this. I mean, oh, fuck. Okay, that was weird. It exploded anyway. Yeah, I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like we can crit it when it goes down like that. But, like, why else would it go down? And yeah, since you can come here when you get killed by a sack body, we could have come here a long, 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 long time ago. So, I get the feeling this dude's, you know, Probably a much, uh, oh, look how creepy its head is. It's kind of like a woman now that I look at it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, clearly we could have killed this thing a lot earlier on, so... That's why we just kicked the living shit out of it. I don't ever feel good about that, man. That was just... That was a slaughtering. That was... I feel bad for that thing. Jesus. Okay, well, anyway. That's dead. We have a lamp. This makes me happy. So hopefully this is going to lead us around to wherever the hell ultimately gives us the elevator back? I don't know. We have a door. Can we open it? Yes, we can. Good. Open it quicker. The suspense is killing me. It's just like the beginning of Dark Souls 1. Wait, old Yarnum? Say what? I think I know where this is. Isn't this the road just before the Bloodstaff Beast with like the three werewolves running around? Yes, it is. Oh, well, screw it. I guess we'll kill this guy whilst we're here. Ha-ha. Give me bloodstone shots. I need them. Thank you. Well, that's cool. See, here's the thing. We still have the elevator. And the other locked door. So, uh, gentlemen, please. Please. You, 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 ain't no, you ain't no challenge. Get out of here. Thank you. So, yeah. There's clearly more stuff we can do there. But I can only assume we can't do it yet. So I guess we're gonna carry on, and you guys can feel free to tell me if there's something I'm missing. But you know, just be aware that I do record in advance, so... It may take a few episodes before I get around to it, but, uh... Yeah, I, I couldn't find anything else, so I guess we're just gonna leave for now. Okay, I upgraded the Tony Trist to plus five, and the Stake Driver to plus six. Same as Ludwig's Holy Blade, so... Now we have three things! to dig around with, because, you know, I like the Holy Blade, it's very powerful, but it's very boring just using one weapon all the time, so... Probably gonna mess around with the Tonitrus and the Stake Driver a little bit. It's got really good scaling and strength. The Stake Driver, not so much, but, you know, it, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, don't worry. Okay, and yeah, I guess whilst we're here, we may as well do some leveling up, but before we do that, 
I do want to go check out what's going on over here with the, uh, the inside bird bar thingamajigger. Now, some people are telling me to keep my insights. Some people are telling me to spend it all the time. I'm just gonna spend it, because, you know, you can't keep everyone happy, and I want to buy shits. Kind of want bolt paper. Let's buy some bolt paper. I think we only have, like, one fire paper, so I... Yeah, we do. So I probably should have bought some of that, but, you know, fuck it. So we've used a lot of fire. Don't, what the hell is that bar at the top? I don't know. But anyway, let's do some leveling up whilst we're here. How much do we need for a level? Okay, we're a little tiny bit away from getting two levels. We're not going to get any more vitality for now. I do want to get strength, because again... You know, we have a few weapons that at least scale decently with strength, if not amazingly. And also, I do want to use the cannon eventually. Will we ever get there? I don't know. Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe and such. I have no bloody idea. But yeah, for now, we're going to get strength. Okay, so... Yeah, let's spend the rest of our souls on... Bloody goes whatever, on Blood Wilds. I was kind of in two minds about that, but fuck it. And we have quite a few of them now. Okay, well anyway, I guess we need to go back to Bergenworth and try and slay that weird giant bug thing that was shooting fireballs at us. This is really gonna suck. And yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break, and I'll bring it back in when we get there. Wait a minute, can we open this door yet? Oh, apparently we can. I don't remember picking up that key, but I'm glad I checked. Okay, it seems to be someone creepy in the chair, and... Are you friendly? Hello? Well, that's not creepy at all. Okay. It looks like a priest. Am I the only one that thinks that? It looks a bit like the, uh... You know that dude who's the head of the church and wears the tall hats? The, uh... I got nothing. I know no I know nothing about religion. The words on the tip of my tongue. What is that guy's name? The Pope! She looks like the Pope. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, and that thing's still down there. Well, I guess... Okay, clearly I have to drop down into that water because it's all ripply and she pointed to it. I get that. But before we do that, I want to go take out this giant thing outside because I don't know if we're going to be coming back from there, you know? So, yeah, let's go kill this thing, even though it is literally the physical embodiment of my nightmares. It looks absolutely terrifying, and apparently it ain't all that, uh, ain't all that brats. Wait, what? How did those two attacks do nothing? Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, that was a grab attack, and I've just noticed it's got, like, gross teeth on the front. Kind of like the, uh... Oh, uh, what's it called? The, 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 the Gaping Dragon. So, I mean, I'm okay with fighting you like this. As long as you ain't shooting giant fireballs and munching on me, I'm down with it. Well, that was anticlimactic as shit. Apparently, charge attacks are definitely the way to go on enemies that take... Oh, hello, buddy. And take jack shit damage from the other things. You know what? What the? No, 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 no. You know, whilst we're at it, let's give her give the, uh, the fist a chance. Give peace a chance. And. Boom, son! <laughs> 10 out of 10, I can't believe that worked. And that did like nearly 600 damage. And again, this is only plus 6. I like this fisty weapon already. Liquid medicine. Concocted in Bergenworth. Calms the nerves. Okay. Don't know what that means, but sure, whatever. Okay, well, anyway, I guess we need to go back up the top. Oh, that's right, there's a couple of dudes out there. I guess we need to go back up the top and jump into the ripply water of doom. I expect this is probably going to be a boss. Though then again, we only just got to Bergenworth. And... We really haven't done much here. Like, it's, it's cool, but it's been very small so far. So... That was awesome. Moonside Lake. Yeah, okay, this is a boss, all right. There's a big thing over in the distance. Bloodstains as well, so, you know, it doesn't take a genius. Quite a few bloodstains. Well, this is terrifying. What the hell is that? Is it like a fish thing? Hello? Fish body? Oh, you're not a fish. Oh, you are creepy again. It's friendly, I guess. Oh, look at its mouth. Ah, oh, that's horrible. It looks like a tick. I guess we're supposed to beat it up. I don't know what else to do. I don't see anything around here. We can lock on. Well, fuck it. Dang. Rom the vacuous spider. Holy shit. 
Okay, wasn't expecting that. Got, got a bit. Why am I doing like 15 damage to everything? Everything. I guess we probably got to kill these. Oh, why did you take so much damage? Was it the fist? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. They have uh, hard hits, so you probably got to hit them from behind. That's actually kind of cool. And speaking of which, I should probably just go and hit them from behind. Come here, buddy. There we go. Right in the ass. Just the way you like it. Oh, that was kind of awesome. Okay, so, I don't know if killing these is going to be a good idea. It might be one of those bosses where it's like, just ignore the ads. Kind of like the Witches of Hemwick. Wait, oh, you just backed up. Oh, you little shits. We're going to kill them at least once. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be more, but I expect so. And, wait, what? I didn't kill you? Apparently I didn't even damage you. That's just embarrassing. But yeah, we'll kill them, and if they keep showing up, maybe we'll ignore them. But it also might have weakened it to do that or something. It seems to just be backing away from me. Is this just like a passive boss where I just have to avoid the, uh... The others? Oh, that's right, I'm punching you in the grill. That's, uh, that's just a bad mistake. There we go! Okay, doing much better damage now. So do you attack? It looks like it's trying to attack me. I don't know. It certainly seems to be trying to face me now instead of run away. It's also very quick. God, it looks creepy as shit, man. What the hell's going on? Is it going to explode? I think I'm stuck on it. Maybe this is just an, uh, an invisible wall. I almost said an illusory wall. Yeah, okay. I guess it's... What's over there? I guess I must have been stuck on a wall then. I don't know what else it could have been. Because, yeah, holy shit, what the hell is that? It's raining ice? What's going on? <laughs> also, really doesn't look like a spider to me. These things look like spiders, like quite clearly. That thing, uh, not so much. I have to realize as well, this is Rom, isn't it? I mean, like, quite clearly. I've heard the name Rom mentioned a few times. Like, basically, I think it's an extremely tough boss. So, yeah, why did it. Holy shit! Yeah, it's definitely attacking me now. Apparently, it rolled around and caused ice to come out of the ground. No, oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? Keep running, keep running, keep running. Holy crap. Oh, God. Okay. This is fucking terrifying. What's it doing? What's it? Why? Oh, no! Am I dead? No! <laughs> Damn it! Well, could have gone better. But, uh, you know, we're learning. We now know. It's a dick. Don't trust it. Oh, yes! As you could tell, I forgot to mention. It's been a couple of days since I recorded the beginning of the video, so... They've actually released a patch now, which changes up the load times. They seem a lot better. Still shitty, though, as you can see. And obviously, there's uh, item descriptions there now. See, that was much better, but still really shit. Okay. It's clobbering time. Now, we've uh, we got bolts. I assume, you know, it's in water. It might... It just makes logical sense to me that it would conduct electricity, thus be weak to uh, bolts. Don't do bad, man. That, that was reasonable damage. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're gonna try ignoring the spiders now, but... Just ow, ow, no, 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 no. Might be a... What? They drop from the sky? What the hell? Okay, well, anyway. I guess we'll kill these spiders since Rom seems to be down the other end, and I get the feeling they're probably just gonna chase me if I ignore them. So that might be the tactic here. Maybe you wanna hit Rom, beat him up enough so that he teleports down the other end. Then you can... What the hell? Oh. He can shoot me from there? That, that presents a problem with my plan. As I was gonna say, maybe you'd want him to teleport away from you, so you can just fight the spiders without him being right next to you and shooting shit at you. But apparently he has uh, quite some range on that. Don't you, buddy? Well, I guess we'll kill these ones whilst we're here. It's... I really hate when they do this in video games. Like, this is reminding me a lot of the, uh... What's it called? The Ivory King fight from Dark Souls... Oh, shit. From the Dark Souls 2 DLC. The Ivory King fight. Very cool boss fights. And call the first time you, you kill, like, you know, the ads and then he shows up and whatnot. But after that, it's just, oh shit, it just becomes a complete grind. And you're like, oh god, I gotta kill these again. See, I like, I don't know, I almost feel like, well, I, I guess these are part of the fight. But I guess they're kind of worth the Ivory King as well. I don't know, I just don't like having to grind enemies to get to the boss. But, 
And I guess if you look at it in the grand scheme of things, that's kind of what you're doing the entire time. You're trying to get to the boss. But, uh, oh my god. But, you know, if you don't die like a bitch, then you don't have to keep doing them again and again. Though, so, again, that same logic applies to a boss fight. So, in other words, get good, Jason, or stop complaining. Ow. Dick. Okay, I can't help but notice we've been killing spiders for quite a while, and they don't seem to be... Like, are they respawning or something? Because occasionally they're dropping from the sky. Now, I think it's just that they're jumping and dropping, but maybe he's just dropping in more of them. Maybe like when these ice crystals explode, one of them pops out occasionally or something? I don't know, yeah. we just don't seem to be thinning the numbers anywhere near- Oh shit! Oh god. We don't seem to be thinning the numbers anywhere near- Oh my god, stop it! That's a bad rock, bad! Okay, no, he's doing it again. It seems like if I go towards the camera, like, you know, let's just roll away from him. Mostly they don't hit us. At least, you know, that specific attack. But, uh, yeah, looks like we finally thinned the herd. Holy shit. Oh, you're alive. That's a problem. Okay. So that one seems to be close range to him when he rolls around. We're learning, man. We're learning. We're learning very slowly, but we're learning. Ow. I went sideways. God damn it. Okay, you are dead. Oh, he's doing roly-poly. I see my blood stain. Okay, we're fine. We're just fine, man. Don't worry about it. We've already, like, a quarter killed him. Ain't no thing but chicken wing, ain't gonna be a problem. Okay, that's a problem. Stop exploding, you dick. Oh, God. Oh, that was another explosion. Okay, we're fully healed. <laughs> it's going at you trying to do some damage now. Jesus. If we die this time, we're just gonna try ignoring the spiders. I suspect that won't go well, but I still think it would be a better plan than killing them. Okay, we can't hit him whilst he's disappearing. At least briefly. Kind of like the four kings. More spiders? Well, yes, you do! That's a very cool animation when they drop in like that. But, you know, terrifying. He really does. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! How the hell did I die? Stop nose diving at me! You spider dicks! Okay. Be like, he really doesn't look like a spider to me! He looks somehow creepier. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Okay. Please. Please. Just die. Why do you have to have armored heads? It's so irritating. Oh, my God. Dickhole. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're not gonna be fine. That hurts. We got two blood bars, I just realized. Well, shit. I think I have some of the horse blood, but that doesn't, like, fully restore me. It doesn't do much of anything. By the way, I think in the latest patch, I think, I swear, they've nerfed the stamina recovery. Like, when my bar, oh god. When my stamina bar gets completely empty, it seems like it takes way longer to come back after that. Kind of, you know, Dark Souls 1 style. So, yeah, maybe they've nerfed the recovery rate, like, if you chew it all up. But if I don't, it seems to be about the same. Oh no! I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I have no blood vials, I'm gonna die. Where's my horse blood? Yeah, chug that shit. Okay. No! 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 Why did it... Dickhead! Alright. Fuck this shit. We got the Mace of Doom ready! Let's do this! I expect this mace might suck, but, you know, we're gonna try anyway. It's got good scaling and strength. You know what? That's actually pretty damn decent damage! Okay, please, just beat the absolute shit out of him. Don't let off! Okay. The Ow, ow, okay, don't die. That's kind of priority A1. That was good! So if we can just do that a few more times... But he's probably gonna teleport down the same end. Like, the first two times, he's not seen that bad. But, like, after that, there's gonna be, like, spiders piling on top of spiders. There's gonna be a spider freaking lemon party going on. What the hell are you doing? Jesus! No. Okay, we're alive. We're, uh, we're alive. Oh, God. Okay, just run. Yeah. That's an awful lot of spiders. We're gonna try the, uh, the big, uh, two-hander. The Ludwig's Holy Blade. Because <laughs> we, uh, we ain't got no time to dick around here. He kind of flails around a little bit like the covetous demon. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Don't know where my blood stain is. Oh, I think I just saw it. This is not the time. Oh, shit. Okay, I really want to grab that, but... <laughs> we, 
We have to risk it, man. This it's surrounded by spiders. Holy shit, look how many there are! <laughs> He's nearly dead! Please! Die! Yes! <laughs> gotcha! Suck on that! Oh yeah, so that's how you do it, just ignore that shit! That was awesome! I don't see a lamp! Hello? Lamp? What the hell is that? That looks like a woman... Like a woman's torso in a dress. With no head. And blood on it? I mean, it's Bloodborne. I guess it would make sense. Oh, she does have a head. It's it's in a veil. The Blood Moon! I know this is important, but I don't know why. Well, that was awesome. Hello? Game? Okay, thank you. Cold Blood Dew, a droplet of cold blood containing blood echoes, used to gain blood echoes. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They, it, oh, uh, Executioner's Gloves, one of the secret treasures hidden in Kanehurst. Well, that ain't so sacred now, is it? Where is Kanehurst? Have we been there yet? I don't think we have. Okay, interesting. So yes, as you can see, uh, the uh, world screen's still pretty shitty. I don't remember them being this bad. I guess it's because we got cutscene. I have no idea. Oh. Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. Okay. So again, the newborn. There's something about babies and blood moons and... Oh, I know where we are. We're in that room where we... Holy shit, it's right there. The door's open now? Maybe it's friendly. I don't think it's friendly. Well, anyway, I guess I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. Like, and I'll see you next time for more Bloodborne.